Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trail and Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover another unit of Prompt Builder, which is add a flow to your prompt template. Now, in the previous unit of this module, we had created one flex type of prompt template. Now, in this, we are going to call a flow from that template. So, what we can do is you have to first of all create Einstein AI Playground. And if you already have, uh, which hasn't expired yet, you can use that one. But if at all you your playground has expired, you can create a new one by following the steps which were provided over here before you had an activated playground. Now, since my playground expires on 2nd of March, so I'm good to go with the existing one. Now, the next thing that you have to do is you have to go to setup and create a flow. The flow type will be template trigger prompt flow. And there you are going to do, uh, there you are going to select the manual inputs for the input type. So let's quickly go to setup. But before you proceed with your uh, manual inputs and creation of flow, you have to enable the Einstein setup in your uh, org. So for that, you have to go to setup and search here setup. Einstein setup, select this one. And in order to work with prompts, it is mandatory that you enable or toggle on this setting. Now, once it is toggled on, uh, you have to refresh and then search for flow. If at all your uh, environment is not new and you have previously worked on your uh, prompt builder templates, then in that case, you need not have to enable the setting again and again. It's a one-time thing, but since my uh, Einstein playground was new. I had to do this again. Now we'll go to new flow, start from scratch and select template trigger prompt flow. Click on create. Now here we'll select manual inputs. Now the next step that you have to follow up is we are going to use a get element record. But before that, we have to create some resources variable type. So I'll just copy the API name from here and object will be external reservation. So let's go to toolbox, click on your resource, variable. If your name, I'll just simply paste it. Object type will be record and object will be external reservation. It has to be available for input, click on done. Then the second resource we have to create of again, variable type and data type will be record. API name I'm going to copy. Let's just go back again, click on new resource variable record and object will be experience. Make it available for input. Now, once it is done, we will uh, we'll save our flow. Uh, so let's just copy the name of the flow as well. Click on save. Saved. Now we'll use the get element to fetch all the experience record so that we can loop around those records and then display it in our prompt, a flex prompt template. So let's just copy the label of the get element, guest experience, get records, then object will be experience. In the condition requirement, select get all experience records, all records, and let it be this one automatically store all fields. Then next we'll use the loop element to loop around all these records which we just fetched of experience. So the loop uh, element will have the API name or the label as loop experience. So let's just go back here and add a loop element. There is this description that we have to add and we forgot to add the description of get element. So we'll add it in a minute. So let's select the collection variable, which we just created of get records uh, for, experience, uh, for experience from guest experience and click on save. So now we have, uh, we have first fetched the records of experience records. We have fetched all the records of experience object, and then we are going to loop around those records. And then we are going to use another element over here for each path. But before that, we have to enter the description of the get element as well, get all experience data. So let me just copy this. Paste it over here. Now, inside this, we are going to add prompt instructions. Now this prompt instruction is basically 
act as a mediator to send data from flow to our prompt template. So using this inside this for loop, we are sending the data of each experience record, which is being looped around into the prompt template that we have created earlier in the previous unit of flex type. So we'll just copy the label of this prompt instructor, copy the description, paste the description. And now here in the prompt instruction, we'll provide the data that we want to be passed from our flow builder to the prompt template. So in our case, we have to pass the experience records details, such as the experience name, uh, experience location and experience description. So this is the prompt instruction that we are going to provide in our flow so that it could be passed to the prompt template. So we'll just paste this over here. So if you notice that this is using loop experience, this is for each variable that we are using inside our loop. So if you want, you can just see over here that if you try to access your loop variable, it will be loop experiences. So if you will uh, select this one, create items from loop, loop experiences, you will find that this is the same variable which we are using. So this is basically for each variable that we are using to fetch each records details. So we need not have to do anything over here. We have copy paste from the challenge itself already. Now we have to simply just save our flow and activate it. Next, we'll be dealing with the prompt template. So let's quickly save this. So this is just a simple flow where we are getting the experience records, looping around them and passing the and passing those experience details like name, location, description to the prompt template using prompt instructor. So just activate it. Now we'll go to the same prompt template that we had created in the previous unit, build a flex prompt template. We are going to utilize that only. So now we'll go to setup. And again, here from the quick find, we'll go to prompts. Open this prompt builder. Now we'll select the prompt template that we created in previous unit, which is new guest newsletter. Now here, instead of experience name, location, and details fetching using the merge field, we are going to utilize the flow which we just created and activated it. So make sure uh, the flow is available only in prompt template when it is activated. So make sure your flow is active. So the next thing that you have to do is, so next thing that you have to do is basically replace the experience name, location and description merge fields with the flow that we just created. So what you have to do is you have to go back to your prompt template, select all these things from here, all the experience data that we are displaying, go to resources, flows, and select the flow that we just created and move everything after that uh, related to experience. So this way, now instead of this, uh, now instead of using the merge field, this flow will show us the data in the same format that we have provided in our flow add prompt instructions element. So you can see we have added it over here and this data will be passed to our prompt template and we'll get to see the exact same results that we were getting the getting with the previous one. So if you want to test it, you can just simply select one record and preview from here as well. Let's say ER01 we are selecting and for the experience, let's say sunshine yoga. Let's say sunrise yoga. Click on save and preview. So this has generated the response for us where the newsletter contains all the details as earlier, but here the experience name, location and details or description is coming as it is that it was coming before. So this way you can call your flow into your prompt template as well. So that was all for this uh, unit as part of this unit's challenge. Now the last thing is you have to just verify your step. Okay, you have to make sure that your template is active. So we forgot to activate it, just click on activate it. Now go back and check again. So there you go, this unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care.